Hello, Aries viewers. I'm going to pull some cards and see what the current energy is. This is from the For the Love of the Moon deck that I made. Let's see what your person wants to tell you. So this could be an ex. This could be a new person coming in. I know for Aries, you guys have you guys are in this stage of transformation. Um, there might have been a lot of ups and downs uh, this past year, but I feel like this year is going to finally be your year when it comes to finances, careers, uh, entrepreneurship, love. Uh, you know, if you've been trying to manifest psychic abilities, I feel like those are also coming in for you this year. I feel like a lot of you are just going through some kind of transformation. Some of you are going through some kind of awakening process right now. You might be mirroring your person in this aspect as well. So let's see what the cards want to say, though. And again, this could be an ex. This could be a new person. So the first card we have is I lied to you. I'm aware that you're my soulmate or twin flame. You're the one. So this is someone who in the past might have told you that they didn't feel the same way, that they didn't love you as much as you love them, that um, the soulmate or twin flame thing is crazy. Like maybe it kind of freaked them out because they were picking up on your energy. You guys were telepathically communicating. They were going through an awakening process and they didn't understand that energy. Maybe this is someone who's typically very traditional. So when that happened to them, they kind of felt like they were going crazy. And so they shut out anyone or anything that contradicted their paradigm that they were in. And so it's, it seems like this person is admitting and facing that they lied to you. That they, you know, you really are the one. They were just afraid of the the psychic connection of the depth, the intensity. This feel, it feels like a twin flame connection, or this is at very least a soulmate that you've had multiple past lives with. And I just want to clarify too that I'm not encouraging you guys to go back with this person. Like I, I'm unbiased. I just tap into the current energy. And so this is your energy and this is anyone that's in your energy field. So if this is an ex that you don't want, you might want to cut their energy. You might want to do a cut and clear spell to remove this energy and invite someone new into your life instead. So I just want to put that out there that, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm just reading the energy. I'm not for or against it. It's just I'm letting you know what's going on. I'm letting you know who's in your energy field. Doesn't mean that I'm you know, encouraging you get to get back to get together with someone that didn't realize what they had when they had you, you know what I mean? I'm not encouraging that, but I'm just letting you know what's going on. And then it's up to you to decide, um, you know, if you want that energy in your life or not. I personally wouldn't want this in my life. I personally would cut this out, but that's just me. But this is just what the energy is right now. Yeah, I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. I want to be open, honest, and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. So this is someone who, who really ran from you in the past. They were really afraid of... Um, they really felt a close connection with you, but I don't think that they verbalized it. I feel like they kept it to themselves. Maybe you kind of caught them in the way that they were looking at you, the way that they... Like, you could just feel it. You knew... Like, intuitively, you knew that they had deeper feelings for you than they were letting on. But maybe they're just kind of awkward when it comes to communication, a little bit reserved, guarded. But it looks like this person is wanting to be open and honest and vulnerable now. They're wanting to tell you the truth and confess how they feel about you. You know, it says, I'm damaged. I just don't know how to open my heart again. I feel you pulling away from me. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. So this could be someone that you've pretty much gotten over. You're like, I'm had enough of this it's like a chaser chasey game you might be in this cycle where it's like you know they want you when you're in a relationship and you're emotionally unavailable and you want them when they're in a relationship or they're playing hard to get it's like it, it could be a twin flame connection because it's like classer classic oh my gosh cla did I just say classer I hate this mercury retrograde is messing me up I apologize <laughs> I mean usually I'm usually a little bit more well put together but um <laughs> It's a classic case of, you know, runner and chaser and a twin flame connection. And I just want to say that you don't have to be with your twin flame. Even if this person is your twin flame, a lot of people 
end up going for soulmates instead. You have multiple potential life partners. So if one person's acting up, you don't have to stay on that merry-go-round with them. You know, like, yes, this person is realizing that they took you for granted, that they were afraid and they acted on that fear and they pushed you away and they just kind of thought you'd always be there. They thought that they could push you away and they could run and you would keep chasing them or you would keep trying to support them. I feel like you're very empathic and so you kind of wanted to fix them. You wanted to help them. You wanted to be there for them. You wanted to show them the potential, not just in the relationship, but in themselves as well. You wanted to show them the person that they could be if they just took that leap of faith if they stepped out of their comfort zone it's like you saw their core you saw who they who they used to be or who they could be who they who they are deep down but you have to acknowledge their day-to-day -day actions as well and it's like yeah now that you're pulling away this person is you know regretting taking you for granted but it might be too little too late my life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb and running on autopilot. So you're kind of this person's safe space is what I'm feeling. Family or friends played a role in our separation. Might be a specific message for a couple of you. The situation might involve children or maybe like a third party, like a childish third party that kept you guys apart. Seems, It seems like they do not have all their ducks in a row. Like they're still in this kind of chaotic energy, but they're still returning because they want to be with you and they're panicking because they feel you pulling away. Sometimes I cry over you. Yeah, this person's very emotional over you right now. They're in this very emotional state and they are... They're wanting to run back to you because they feel like like you're not as interested in them anymore. But a lot of you have a new, like I keep channeling this, like you guys either have new love that you've just met or that you're going to meet. So I just want to say like, you don't have to go back with the ex. It's, it's your life. You decide what you want. Do you want to cut this ex out and clear your energy or do you want, do you want to go back to them? It's up to you. You know, I'm like, I try to be a very unbiased reader. I know, um, some readers try to give you, I mean, I do give you guys advice. Don't get me wrong. Like I do give you guys some advice, but I also, I know that I personally appreciate readings where the reader just lets me know what's going on and lets me make my own decisions. So I kind of try to do that for you guys too. Like I just, I'm letting you guys know what's going on. That doesn't mean that you have to go back with this person. It's up to you. I'm just telling you what the current energy is. I'm tapping into your energy, tapping into their energy, and then just letting you know, like it's your choice. I personally would not go back with that person, but it's, it's up to you. It's up to you. You know what I mean? I'm just letting you guys know what it is. Um, but let's look into let's look into uh, new love because I feel like this energy group you guys have more than one potential life partner. So you don't have to, you know you you've got some love coming in. If it hasn't come in already, it's 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 coming in for you this year. I really do feel that for you guys. So what are some what are some other messages here? Beauty, mystery, enchantment, third party, distraction, karmic partner, true love, potential life partner. Hmm. Spying. Anger, miscommunication, reconciliation, hmm. soulmate, soul contract, planning their words wisely. I'm feeling two different energies here, honestly. Planning their words wisely, choosing their approach, planning their approach, choosing their words wisely. So I feel like part of this energy, part of the reason why this this ex wants to come back around, I mean, you've, I feel like you've pulled your energy away from them. Like, you know that you deserve better now. And I feel like you've focused on yourself. You might also be focusing on someone else. Like, if you haven't met a new person, I just feel like you're in this energy where you know that you deserve someone better. Like, you're... Um, how do I explain it? It's like, you, you even if you haven't met a new person, you're vibration is raising every day 
you're aligning with the type of soulmate that you want. Like you might, some of you might be using vision boards. Some of you are just, you know, praying, asking your angels or your gods and goddesses, whatever beings you pray to. Um, some of you are, you know, meditating, visualizing, using affirmations, whatever it is, you're aligning with your true love. You're aligning with your potential life partner. You're manifesting this into your life. And I feel like you're becoming less and less attracted to your exes. Like you're just not resonating with that energy anymore. And there's a certain ex that really did love you, but they took you for granted too much. They thought you would always be there. And now they're feeling this energy. They, they're feeling like you're focused on other things. Like you're focused on yourself more. I feel like you're starting to live your best life. Like you're coming out of a phase of like depression, loneliness. Um, you're... I feel like this Mercury retrograde, you're really introspective. You're really trying to find like how, like figure out how you can live your best life. Even though there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of chaos at times, you're still trying to figure out like what you can do to manifest the life that you want. And it is coming. I do feel like you're wrapping up some karmic lessons right now and the life that you're asking for and trying to manifest it, it is, it is happening. And I just feel like you're, like I said, like your, your vibration is, is raising more and more every day. And so you're not, um, you were in a different vibration when you were with this ex or with your exes in general. And so you were more attracted to them because that energy resonated with you at the time. Maybe you were more insecure back then. And now you're developing genuine self-confidence. Like you really have like a stable self-love that you're developing this past year or so. And so your ex's energy just doesn't resonate with you anymore. And so this, this new person that's just come in or coming in, like they resonate with you. They're, they're what feels right to you. And I feel like some of you are just focusing on yourself though. Some of you are just like, like focused on career, money, whatever else. And you just kind of, you feel this new person in your energy field. Like, you know, when it's the right time, it's just going to come in. Like you can just kind of sense that you're like, like you're starting to trust the universe and let go and let things flow more naturally than you did in the past. Um, so it's a really good energy, but this person, yeah, this person from the past feels it. And I feel like they're spying. I feel like they might be stalking your social media a little bit for some of you. I feel like there was like an argument or like miscommunication between you guys in the past. And so that's part of why they've been spying on and off. Maybe they feel like you would rejected them or like you would reject them or you did reject them. Maybe they misunderstood your words. So they're just kind of spying right now. And they've been doing it longer than you realize, I think, too. I don't think this is just recent. I think that on and off, they've been spying on your social media or, you know, if they like at work or wherever they might know you at, know you from. And they're wanting to reconcile. And it's kind of saying, and they're choosing their words. They're, they're figuring out, like, what to say because they know that they're about to lose you. And they would hold on to their pride forever if they could. But they, like, they know that you're pretty, like, they feel that you've pulled away, that you're pretty much done. And it, they, I also want to bring to your attention, there might be a soul contract with this person. This might be like a karmic partner. And you might want to wrap things up with them if you haven't already. Like you might want to, you might want to look into what this soul contract is. Some, some soul contracts can be ended. Sometimes we repeat soul contracts that we don't need to repeat. And, um, you know, some soul contracts can't be ended though. But, you know, this might be one that can be ended. This might be one like you guys have... There might be just be some karmic energy that needs to be cleared here. So keep that in mind. Uh, vulnerability, receptivity. Chaser, chasey, power struggle. Make your move. Yeah, it's like someone's... Someone was waiting for you to come back. Someone was being vulnerable and open and thinking, oh, you'd come back for them. Like they... Like, see this person, male or female, it's like this person kind of was in like a more submissive energy. Like, oh, they'll come back for me. They'll they'll chase me like they always do. And you didn't. And now they're like, oh, crap, I better make my move now while the light's still green. But they're not sure. If they, I don't think the light is green for most for most of them. I think you're done already anyway. Um, if you want a private, and it's 444, so angel number, your angels are around you. They're protecting you. They're guiding you. Um, you're not stuck. If this person is someone that keeps bugging you, like their energy keeps popping up, you're not stuck. You can remove this and release this. You know, it's up to you what you want to do here. Um, if you'd like a private reading, my email is below in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. 
But yeah, like I said, just check the description box. It's right below this video. You can just copy and paste it. Any donations are also appreciated. And let's look into the new person really quick. And please subscribe too if it resonates. Stagnation, complacency, pause, reflection, rest. Love offer, commitment. Yeah, I feel like things might be at a standstill with the um, the new person to some, to some extent. Either you haven't met them yet, so like they're doing some work to wrap up karmic lessons on their end and you're also at the same time wrapping up karmic lessons on your end but you guys are telepathically connecting and you're finding the right time to to come forward and meet in the physical or maybe you have met them but they're just kind of you know kind of going inward right now it's not personal i think they just they have some stuff going on right now that they need to figure out um but I feel like when they do that, when they figure it out, when they go inward, when they pause, reflect, and rest, they're going to come forward with this love offer, a commitment. So I don't think if this is for the, if this is a new person, I don't think their silence is a bad thing. I think that their, their perspective is changing, listening, understanding, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and your bravery. So they're also, like, you guys are mirroring each other in that sense. That you're both, you both have this new perspective. You, you're both learning to listen, to understand, to communicate in healthier ways. Even if you're not learning together, you're still telepathically connecting and learning this at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, sex seduction. Yeah, this is going to be like a, like a fun kind of energy, too. I feel like, let's see, sex seduction, isolation, loneliness, emptiness truth and clarity clubs party social life something that might meet them out at like a party or like fourth of july or or like a club or something like that um let's see we have truth and clarity I feel like this person is also like deciding what's right for them. Like they almost caused their own isolation in the past, like their own loneliness. And now they're kind of getting out and being social again and like finding like they're there. You guys are both realizing at the same time that you need to put yourselves out there. You know, I think that you guys are really mirroring each other. Sense of belonging, home, safe space. Confusion and uncertainty, passion, romance. Yeah, I almost feel like at first, like it might be um, for some of you. There might be like a sense of confusion because it's going to be so intense. It's going to be so romantic. And you're going to be used to like the old relationships where it's like, you know, ghosting and miscommunication and emotional unavailability. But you know you don't deserve that anymore. Like you've moved past that. But um, this is just going to be different. It's going to be different. And so it's going to take you some time and maybe even take them some time to trust this connection. But I do feel like this is a potential life partner for you. And you're going to know the difference because there's not going to be any red flags with them. Like it's going to... You're you're listen you're you you're learning to listen to your body's intuition. You're uh, like mentally, like physically, emotionally, spiritually. You're just learning to listen to yourself and what you need. Um, so I think that you're gonna notice the energetic difference between this person and person people from your past. So anyway, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. It is right below in the description box. Thanks for watching.